hello and welcome back to some more Genshin Impact. So I'm going to be continuing this timed event right here. Uh, all of these stages are now unlocked. So let's go ahead and just jump into this. I'm not going to bother reading all that other stuff. Uh, I might read this though. Seagrass will be obliterated after a single explosion. Okay. So the idea is to... Huh. Huh. It's not exactly doing what I thought it was going to do. Uh, okay. Oh, wait. I have to go down here. And explode those, like that. Nah, that's not really doing what I thought it was going to do. Maybe I should have read that stuff. Let's, uh, destroy these now. Okay. Hmm. No, I definitely messed that up. I needed to get at least 36 points. Let me try that again. I thought that, uh, it was saying that the seagrass would explode and destroy these things, but that's not quite what it's supposed to do. Hmm. They don't really give you very many options, though. Let's, uh, switch over to this. To do that? Yeah. That's probably what you're supposed to do. And then this will destroy those. Okay. Now, for this one... If I destroy that single one there, and then use this to destroy all of those, that'll give me some a decent number of points. Destroy those two. Um, let me see. Let's change sides and destroy these. And now, it's just a matter of getting rid of those little ones. Which... Is easier said than done in some ways. Actually, no. It may not be as hard as I thought. And I've actually got enough points now. I don't know if I did that the way it was intended to be done, but... Eh, whatever. Anyways, let's uh, go to the next stage. I'll claim my prizes afterwards. Um... After Crash Kaboom Mine is ignited, it can trigger a second explosion with a massive AoE. However, these explosions can still be blocked by Spiky Sneaky Seagrass and Spiky Stony Strongholds. Okay. Uh, so there's some moving ones now. Whoops. I may want to, uh, retry it. Yeah. Okay, let's not hit that one. There we go. Good. Uh, now, how do I want to approach this? Well, let's first get rid of these, right? Because that makes the most sense. And then from there, if I do this right... Nope, I messed up. It's fine, though. Okay, I'm short 16 points. Huh. Well then... I think... I have a pretty good idea of how I should have done things. Um... I'll still do this... To get rid of these. But I have to time this a little bit differently. Yeah, that should work. And now it's just a matter of getting rid of those guys. Thankfully, I don't have to get rid of all of them. Okay, let's select the next stage. Uh, destroying the seagrass will gain you an additional special jumpy dumpy. Okay. 
and that's the Sun Spiky Sneaky Seagrass Hide Special. Okay. So I want to destroy some of those. Hmm. Uh, I think I should do it like that, right? Nope, I'm, I wasted that. Let me uh, retry. Destroy that. There we go. Uh, move over to the side here. To do that. Hmm. I don't know how to feel about this. Let me do this. I should have timed that a little bit differently. Oh well. It's not a big deal. Oh, I can see where that is now. That uh, seagrass up there will give me a uh, jumpy dumpty when I destroy it, which means that I should do it like that, right? Yeah. Okay. And then if I wait here for a bit, I can get uh, these just like that. Now the question is, is how many more points do I need? Oh, in the upper left it tells you. Uh, can I get those points though? Something tells me no. Hmm. I've got to figure out how to do that differently. First of all, destroy these. Because it just makes sense to destroy those first. And then... If I destroy those... Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Things are looking a little bit better this time. I think. And I think I only have to get those final four up there. Yeah. Awesome. And then there's this one. Uh, hopefully the trick here isn't too hard. Uh, there's two of the ones that have the, uh, what do you call it? The treasure chest, you know, the special Jumpy Dumpties inside of them. I gotta be, whoops. I didn't mean for that to happen. For that, let's retry. I've got it. Time it just right. There we go. Okay. Whoops. There we go. Uh, I have to say, this is pretty neat and all, but whoops. You make a lot of mistakes really easily by not timing things correctly. Hmm. How is this supposed to work? I'm guessing that I I messed it up. Whatever. Uh, let's open up this path first, and then get that. Okay. Just gotta be patient. There we go. Wow, that worked out pretty well. Uh, and if I time this correctly, I can repeat that result. Eh, it's fine. Now it's just a matter of getting all of those up there. Good. One more time. And now I have enough points to claim everything. Uh, the question is, is can I get all of them? Because I kind of want to get all of them. Yeah. Now I just got to wait for this. And there we go. Cool. And that was the final stage? Yeah. <laughs> Koja defeated lots of bad spiky fish warriors. Even the spiky fish king was no match. Dodoko, Jumpy, Dumpty, and Klee, Spikes, and Splash are the best! Truly unstoppable. Hmm. This game reminds Paimon of the incident happening in Cider Lake. Did Lisa base its theme on that? Uh, hmm. but come to think of it, why go to the trouble of finding the invading species when they could just ask Klee to blow up every suspicious fish? They could even give us some bombs and let us handle this! You and Clear are like two peas in a pod. Nope, no bombs for Paimon. 
<laughs> well, well. From the looks on your faces, it seems like you're having fun. Hmm. It's Lisa! You're here! We loved playing Doriko's Bombastic Adventure. What a fun game you designed! Thanks for playing. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Hmm. Perhaps I should come up with some new updates? Ooh, yay! Clee wants to see Doriko going on adventures in all kinds of places! No, wait. You must have spent a long time working on the game. It must be exhausting. We shouldn't make Lisa work too hard. Ah, how thoughtful of her. Aw, oh, thank you for being so considerate. Hmm. But if it helps keep you happy while you stay inside the city, I'll be more than happy to spend as much time as needed. Of course, I understand that you prefer going on your own adventures whenever you like. The game is just meant to be a new way to pass the time. Anyway, I have some great news. And I've also brought a gift for you cuties. Oh, really? A gift? Actually, I have a gift for Mr. Unwary Knight and Paimon, too. Oh, cool. We'll get to the gifts in a moment. Let me tell you the news first. Is the incident in Cyber Lake resolved? Can Cleve play outside again? That's right. Two knights from the investigation team found the invasive species nest and swiftly disposed of it. Huh. The knights have also determined the cause of their invasion. The species were accidentally introduced to the lake by a merchant without any malicious intent. So hmm. the knights let her go after some lecturing and issuing a fine. That sounds really similar to what happened over in Fontaine. <sighs> Luckily, they didn't cause too much trouble. But even Paimon thinks that merchant was way too careless. The water inside her lake is safe. Montet's wine industry is safe. Uh, okay. Yeah, is it just, time for gifts like. yet? Can Klee go first? Of course. Klee's been returning home on time every day without being reminded by anyone. So, I've been wondering what you're up to lately. <laughs> when I was home at night, I looked through Alfredo's crafting book and learned to make this. Uh... Da -da -da. What is it? Oh, it's Dodoko throwing a jumpy ducky! Yep, I made <laughs> a figure that looks like the Dodoko from Dodoko's Bombastic Adventure! Cool. Even though I can't make it throw real bombs, I hope it'll remind you of the fun we had together and blast away your troubles and boredom. A big Dodoko toy! Oh, Paimon loves surprises like this! So I assume it's for the teapot, right? <laughs> Thank you for the creative and thoughtful gift, Klee. Dodoko will come with us on all our adventures from now on. <laughs> I am so happy you like my gift. I worked super hard on it. What's your gift, Lisa? I want to see. Well, I'm afraid my gift is a lot less creative than yours. It's a storybook about Dodoko's bombastic adventures. Okay. <gasps> An adventure story! Yay! The little cuties return to Mondstadt hmm. and join Klee on an adventure with Dodoko. Together, they defeated the bad spiky fish warriors and then enjoyed an afternoon tea. A most fitting way to end Dodoko's fantastic adventure. Did you plan out the whole story while designing the game? How did she know that we would come here then? Hmm. No. As the protagonists of the story, you, little cutie, and Klee all played an important part in bringing the story to life. I've left a blank spot in the book specially for illustrations. Oh, okay. But I just thought of an even better idea. Since we're all here on this special occasion, why don't I take a photo of you together? <laughs> sure! We got to see our friends and play games together! That's definitely worth celebrating! Let's take a group photo. You gotta treasure the small joys in life. Come on then, Mr. Honorary Knight and Paimon. Ready, Lisa? Hmm. We had so much fun today. Three, two, one. Da -da -da! <laughs> so are we gonna see the photo? Anyways, that was a neat little timed event. Oh, that's cool. The way that ended kind of reminded me of uh, the way, like, the 
Hundred Acre Woods and Kingdom Hearts ends. Yeah, a little... It had a little bit of that feeling to it, I don't know. You have to play those games to really understand exactly where I'm coming from, because it's a very specific type of feeling. Anyways. Let's go ahead and claim all of this and this. As well as all of these. And these. Yay! Uh, so now, before I continue with the Archon quest, I just wanted to point out that there is another timed event. I'm not getting to that in this video. Uh, I may not even get to that in the next video. I may just focus purely on the ti uh, on the Archon quest. But uh, yeah, I have to go to the headquarters now, uh, which is all the way over there, so I'll do that. And here we are once again. And I'm already liking the way this place looks. Okay, wait a second. Was there something back over here? No. I thought maybe there might be like some kind of special uh, thing back there. Party setup, huh? Oh yeah, that's neat. Hmm. This is order. Stabilize. This will be easy. Take flight. And just be left. Cool. Whoa. The floor Whoa. Is going up. Uh, was there anything down there? This mechanism in the middle? That guy really prepared a lot of stuff for this place. Hmm. Okay. I have to say, this place is very fancy. I, uh, should have looked around the room first before activating that, though, because I don't know if jumping down there will cause issues or not. It's acting like you can actually go back down there, though, without any problems, so I'll check it out. Make sure. Uh, okay. That area is blocked off. Can you actually fall down into that? Whoa, you can. I didn't think that they would let you fall down into it. At least they set you back here. I'm sorry for messing around so much. I just, I had to make sure that there wasn't any treasure chests. And nothing's worse than entering a one-time dungeon and knocking all the treasure chests and stuff in them. At least if I didn't know that there could be one down here. Like... Yeah. I, I don't know how to explain it, but... It's kind of like out of sight, out of mind. I to go up, but... Paimon doesn't see a way. Let's take a look around. Maybe we'll find a hidden mechanism that'll show us the way up. Basically, if I had searched thoroughly and didn't find it, but there's still... Tur it turns out there's still one there, I wouldn't be upset. Whereas if I didn't bother searching, I would have, you know been upset if actually there was one there and why can't I get up onto this? You can't climb onto anything in this room. Eh. I don't think there's anything in here to collect so let's go into the water. Interact with you. Destroy that. Oh. There we go. Is there nothing else in here? Nope. Uh, I've got to relearn the controls once again for ascending in the water and descending. So that activated a device in that room that we were just in before to raise the water level. That I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting it to drain the water level. But hey, it makes the water sense. Level is rising. Now we can switch to the top. Yep. But this is still a ways away from where we need to go. Hmm. So they're telling us that we should go that way. Is there nothing else in here? Okay. Are there going to be any books in this place that I have to read? 
I really hope not. Solidify. Hmm. Allow me. Whirling snow. I wonder if there's anything special in that treasure chest. Or if it's just going to be uh, Primo Gems and stuff. Because sometimes they'll have special key items in treasure chests like that. Take flight. What? Oh. I wasn't expecting more to get added. Those enemies had a lot of HP. Uh, anything else in here? Nope. So let's continue onward. Now what's that gonna do? Oh, it's creating some kind of uh, bridge? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, I say bridge, but uh, this looked kind of like a little bridge to me. What are you saying? Are we supposed to drop down? You know what this place is reminding me of? It's reminding me of. Uh... Hmm. Actually, I'm not entirely sure what it is. It's something I played recently, a video game. That I played with in like the past year. But I'm not sure which one it is. It's not Rogue Galaxy. Although, Rogue Galaxy does have some, you know, things that are kind of like this, but. Huh. What's going on down there? I guess that's just death. Or not necessarily death, but it'll reset ya. Order guide. Hmm. Rescue Reaven! Whirling snow! Coming so to and... That's that? Nope. That's not that. And there we go. I should probably go that way. I oh, got these statues in here and stuff. Interesting. You can tell a lot of effort was put into making this particular dungeon. Oh, there we go. Sanctum. Though, as expected, the mastermind isn't here. If I'm not mistaken, he's being charged by Navia as we speak. <sighs> That's right. Then let's hurry up and find some evidence so we can get back to the Opera House and help Navia. Sounds like a plan. Hmm. So where is the evidence that we're looking for? Examine the bookshelf. Let's see what's written here. Nothing escapes Detective Paimon's eyes! Hmm... Callus... Navia's father... Oh, this seems to be an investigation report on him! It's probably related to his and Jock's case. Hmm... Hmm... Yep! It's about finding someone to assassinate Jock and Callus because of a lack of confidence that Jock himself would go through with it! This should prove the existence of the third person, right? Uh-huh. Is there anything else? Hmm. We still have not determined the exact content of the key information Callus has passed on to certain members of his organization. The old dog's a real menace to deal with. Even if he abides by the promise he's made to us, he will still have the upper hand. Hmm. He can act whenever he wants to make our lives miserable. The only option left is to remove him from the picture entirely. I concur. 
Let's send someone to kill him. He won't declare war as long as we don't touch Navia. Oh, seems like we've got a bunch of correspondence between the higher-ups. Yeah. They planned this well in advance. <laughs> They're all just so evil. Callus' investigation report. Clues concerning the, the Callus case that were found inside the bookshelf. The mastermind did not believe that Jacques would do the deed, and thus sent a third party to ensure Callus' death. The content that followed also defined the culprit's motive to some extent. Hmm. Uh, what happens if I examine it again? Besides the investigative re uh, investigation reports, there are also a lot of research materials here. It seems their experiments have been going on for a very long time. Hmm. I just realized I have the ability to do that to kind of help reveal where things are. What's all this? Ah, oh, it's a bunch of really cute things! Pink accessories, a hair tie, a necklace, even a makeup box! Weird. There's a name, too. Oh, Paimon sees it too, but... Why are all these cute things labeled with different girls' names? They probably belong to the victims, oh. Huh? You mean the girls from the serial disappearances? They were brought here, and then they were turned into water, and all the boxes of things, these names, that means, oh, this is terrible. The missing person's possession. So you discovered objects within the containers labeled with the names of those who owned them within the depths of the HQ. The names here must have something to do with the victims in the serial disappearances case. This might be proof that this was their final stop. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, is this the last thing? There might be one more thing over there. Oh, look! There's an important looking basin over here! And it's full of water! This must be the water from the primordial sea. Hey, let's go swim in it. That means this is where they make all the synth! And that special water is the main ingredient! Mm -hmm. If you dilute it with normal water, you'll get synth, but the pure stuff can dissolve a human! Paimon will take notes on this incriminating evidence! Primordial Sea Water Pool. The pool found within the, the HQ is filled with water from the Primordial Sea. The Mastermind can use this to create synth and directly use it to dissolve people. Hmm. Okay, you can't jump into it like I was hoping you could. A pool full of water uh, from the primordial sea. Countless sins were born of it now. Yeah. Hey, there's something shining right here. Uh, bottles. Whoa! There's so much synth here! And so many bottles of ingredients that probably just contain the waters of the primordial sea. There are so many. Hmm. Mixing in progress. Ready to drink. Stock sample? Huh. They've also got all the synth pretty clearly labeled. Yep. Whoa, there's even fruit flavored synth? That's weird. Well, that definitely proves that this is where they produce synth. Yep, it's super obvious. Synth, a popular potion circulating quite widely. It gives the drinker a very pleasant experience for a short time, but its side effects are equally strong. The producer uses these special characteristics to earn a massive profit from its trade. Hmm. Okay. So there's still something else here. Oh, right here. Examine the experiment ta table. What's this over here? Looks like some kind of place for research. Experiment number 16 aims to verify Jacob Ingold's research conclusions on the primordial sea and use his theory as a foundation to achieve a breakthrough. The experiment was a failure. No individual managed to resurface from the water from the primordial sea. Female specimens 22, 23, and 24 were dissolved. Are they trying to actually, like, dissolve people and then bring them back after they've been dissolved as a means of combating the effects of the, of the water from the primordial sea? Huh. 
Calm down, Paimon. Sorry, Traveler. Paimon will try her best. It's just that Paimon's never read something so scary before. How could someone write something that terrible in such a matter-of-fact tone? Hmm. You read the rest. Paimon's too scared to keep going. The goal of the researcher is to save his lover, a woman called... I can't say that, who is dissolved. So that's why he did all of these experiments. Hmm. But did he really think he'd be able to find a way just by dissolving people over and over? That's just insane! There's another name here, Vache. Huh? Is it that the name you heard by the fountain? Paimon thought he was an eyewitness in the serial disappearances case. Is Marcel Vache? Hmm. No, he's the researcher. <sighs> you mean Vache is the one who did all of these... Uh, experiments? Yes, he signed off on a bunch of the experiment reports. The voice I heard from the fountain is probably... Uh, his wife, I'm assuming? Yeah. So that's it! Vache was no victim, but personally took his lover and... No, that's not it either! If that's the case, why would he want people to resurface from the water? There must be more to this than meets the eye. In any case, Paimon will write it all down. Vache's experiment, uh, experimental records. Experiment number 16 aims to verify Jacob Ingold's research conclusions on the primordial seawater and use his theory as a foundation to achieve a breakthrough. The experiment was a failure. No individual managed to resurface from the water from the primordial sea, female specimen, yeah. It's basically a repeat of everything from before. There are many records like these, yeah. Hmm. We've looked at almost everything here and it seems like our theories were spot on, but... Who really is this Vache? Yeah, we haven't found anything that reveals his true identity. No wonder even Nervalette wasn't able to find anything. Whoever it is probably destroyed everything to do with that name a long time ago. That hmm. way, even if we bring all this back to the opera, we won't be able to identify the true culprit. Clever, but maybe not clever enough. Let's look again. Sure thing. Paimon won't admit defeat to this guy either. Hmm. Look for clues related to Fashé. Uh, is this something? You take Carefully. We'll find something for sure. Sounds like a plan, Paimon. After some time. Ugh. Nothing at all. And Paimon can't even find snacks either. Wow. Uh, Paimon, I found it. Oh, really? What Paimon see? Hmm. Vignier. Isn't that Vache's lover's name? Vignier? Is that how you say that? Hmm. Then you found her diary! Let's see! Aww. It's just a normal diary chronicling their love story. She was so sweet, too. Oh, Paimon feels even worse for her now. Take a look at this page. She made a list of baby names. Hmm. I wish I could read that. So many! A whole page is worth! But they're all crossed out. Was she unhappy with all of them? The final name she decided on was... Marcel. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Huh. Wait, but... Marcel's pretty old. <gasps> Has this case been going on for so long that he's Fache and Veneer's grown son? I figured it out. Let's go, Paimon. Uh, hey! Paimon still hasn't figured it out yet. Uh, a notebook belonging to a lady named Vinier. I can't say that name. She records many stories of her time with her lover, Vache. On one of these pages, she prepared many names for their future child, and the name she settled on in the end was Marcel. After obtaining the final piece of key evidence, you race back to the Opera Epicles. And whose image do you see, Marcel? Is it a man named Vache? Huh. Uh, 
Oh, so you do know that name. <laughs> I'm merely surprised you'd suddenly say the name of someone I've never even heard of. Mm -hmm. I was waiting for you to say that. Nadia! We're back! Uh, as expected of my partner, I just knew you'd return in the nick of time. Just how often do you intend to flout the rules of this court? It's all right, Monsieur Nervalet. Given their confidence, I expect they've found the crucial evidence. Uh-huh. You say you've never heard of Bush, eh? And then it's going to give me the ability to produce this one right here. Yeah. Uh, how do I select that? Oh, like that. But the truth of it, Marcel, oh. is that you've always been Vache. I wasn't expecting Aether to talk. Huh? We've investigated your lair. We already know everything. After your lover, Veneer, was dissolved, you kept abducting young women to experiment on the hopes of bringing her back to you. You even created Marcel as a new identity and destroyed all records of your past as Vache. Wait a second. I thought he was their son. Hmm. So that's it. Even the villains in opera performances rarely go that far. And with that, Marcel's motive has now been established. This information regarding your past also dismantles your prior timing defense. Well, Marcel, do you know where you went wrong? <sighs> you fixated your gaze on the lover that passed away, instead of paying attention to the living people around you. So, you never noticed how we changed, or how we grew as individuals. You also never understood Boss's real expectations for his daughter. For our determination to see things through. Your determination. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, please speak up now if you would like to defend yourself. Otherwise, the trial will move on to the next stage. Do you think? Do you really think I wanted to do any of this? Is he? Attention to you. <laughs> what for? Have you ever paid attention to me? Ever empathized with my pain? Ever known how it feels to watch the love of your life dissolve right in front of your eyes? Huh, so he's admitting to it. No one helped me. No one even believed me. All those decades ago, even the officers from the Maison Guardianage were laughing at me. They said there's no way a human being can turn into water. So I must have gone mad from grief. Vinyar's death was brushed away by all of you as if it didn't matter at all. Well, now you know, don't you? Ha! Well, it's too late now. All those who were dissolved are gone forever. You only have yourselves to blame. Hmm. You set up this ornate opera house in pursuit of your so-called justice. Your beloved drama. While turning a blind eye to the suffering of the people. Vinyar is dead. We promised each other that we would always be together. Wherever she goes, I will follow. So is Aether going to reveal the fact that she's not really dead to him? But I'm not from this blasted place. So I can't be dissolved. No matter what I do. Is he trying to find some way to dissolve himself as well? Hey, is that water from the primordial sea that he's drinking? Uh-huh. I can't dissolve. Can't dissolve! Can't dissolve! <laughs> okay. Do you all see? I can't go! I can't follow! So if I can't go where she is, what choice do I have but to try to bring her back? Hmm. I did all of that, and in the end, that accursed callus still got the better of me. I spent my entire life living on pins and needles! Only to get stabbed by his idiot daughter at the very end. <laughs> wow, that's a little bit over the top. The suspect is exhibiting signs of mental distress. Guards, please restrain think? him. Don't touch me. Don't anybody come near me. I still need to save them. Yeah, her promise. We made a promise. Well, I was completely wrong about Melus. Vinier, Vinier. 
please, then yeah. Don't think badly of me. All I want to do is fulfill our promise. At this point, the verdict of this trial is clear. With Mr. Marcel's conviction, the charges against Mr. Tartaglia no longer have any basis. Fine by me. I was in a bad mood, but after a show like that, I'm actually feeling pretty good. Wow. Traveler, please submit all the evidence you have collected to the guards so that I might review and summarize the truth behind the serial disappearances case. Nouvellet proceeds to review and The man now the known as Marcel was originally named Varche and worked as an adventurer with his partner and lover, Vignier. Hmm. During an underwater expedition, Vignier accidentally came into contact with water from the Primordial Sea and was dissolved in front of Varche as a result. Varche learned of the Primordial Water's existence through the work of others and began to kidnap young women for research with the goal of discovering a method to restore Vignier back to life. To cover his tracks, he invented the new alias of Marcel and began to operate a business in Poisson. During the course of his research, Varche discovered that a diluted concoction of water from the Primordial Sea can induce feelings of euphoria and began to manufacture and market synth. Hmm. However, as he accumulated wealth to fund his continued research and expanded the scope, he came into conflict with Spina di Rasula. After exchanging blows with Spina di Rasula for many years, Varche decided to assassinate their president, Callus, at a banquet. Although the assassination did not go as Varche expected, he was able to turn Callus into the murder suspect by dissolving the assassin he sent to the scene. And just recently, Varche attempted to frame Linny as the culprit of the serial disappearances case using a similar method. However, his attempt to frame Linny failed, and the power of water from the primordial sea became public knowledge. This case also exposed enough of Varche's machinations that he was eventually successfully charged in court. You know, if he didn't try to do that, uh, you know, try to frame Linny, then he wouldn't have gotten caught, right? Like, nobody would have ever believed that it was possible. He kind of, he kind of messed up big time there. Thus concludes the enigmatic history of the serial disappearances case, with the truth revealed to all. Yay! The oratrice will now deliver the final verdict regarding the charges against Mr. Vache. I mean, I feel like there's still something else that we're gonna have to do for this Archon quest. Because it just doesn't feel like. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, Mr. Varche is. I was gonna say, it doesn't feel like, uh, you know, this is supposed to be the end of things due to the fact that we know his lover, wife, whatever you wanna call her, is still alive, technically. Guilty. Hmm. Guards! Take Varche away. Good. It's what he deserves. Uh, with that, the serial disappearances case is over now. We really just witnessed history. Who would have thought the true culprit would be such a polite and well-spoken guy? Yippee! We helped Navia bring the bad guy to justice! He's hurt so many mm. innocent people and now he's finally getting what he deserves! Huh? Are you okay? Navia? <sighs> Demoiselle, you were absolutely brilliant. The day our late boss had always hoped for has finally come. You can rest easy now, knowing justice has been served. Yeah. Yeah. It's finally over. It's all thanks to you guys. And my partner. See, Papa? Spina di Rosula's still doing well with me at the helm. Well now, hasn't this been a most delicious piece of drama? The villain has been caught, justice has been served, past wrongs have been righted, and it's a big ol' happy ending. Since it's been such a great show, I'll just let the false accusations against me slide. Either way, I've still got some business to attend to, so if you'll excuse me... And what business is that? Please wait just one moment, Mr. Tartaglia. Ugh, oh, what now? None of this has anything to do with me. According to court protocol, since this trial was initiated due to a charge against you, 
A verdict must also be made regarding the initial charge before the trial can conclude. Oh, come on. Is this really necessary? Haven't you already caught the real criminal? Isn't it time for side characters like me to exit stage left? Please hmm. respect the laws of Fontaine. This has always been the rule. All right, all right, but this sure is a lot of hassle. All I need to do is stand over there, right? Let's just get this over with. Something's about to happen, right? I Through mean... evidence presented in the public trial that was just held, it has been established that Mr. Tottaglia has no direct connection to the serial disappearances case. The guilty party has been identified, and thus it is logical to suppose Mr. Tottaglia is innocent of the charges. We now turn to the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal to render the final verdict on the charges. Is it going to pull up a guilty charge or something? That'd be funny. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, Mr. Tartaglia is guilty. <laughs> what? Hey, hey! That's not funny! Didn't you just say I'm supposed to be innocent? What's with this verdict? Is your justice machine malfunctioning? Huh? This has never happened before. The Oratrice actually returned a different verdict from the Chief Justice. Hmm. I mean, have you ever heard of an innocent Fatui Harbinger? Do you well. think the Oratrice might have just convicted him on general principle? But weren't the charges about the serial disappearances case? No matter what else he's guilty of, it shouldn't affect the verdict in this case, right? Child has been declared guilty by the Oratrice. Uh, just what is going on here? The judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal is, by law, the final verdict of the court. We must accept the guilty verdict. Okay, that's just ridiculous. I mean, come on. Guards, please take the suspect into custody per court protocol. So he's still going to get his chance to fight, huh? <laughs> So this is how justice is done in Fontaine. What a joke. <laughs> You've got your rules. Well, I've got mine too! He's able to do that without his vision? Huh. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, I forgot he had that other power. You know, separate from his uh vision. I am sorry. If you have been wronged, we will find the truth. But the rules of the court must be upheld. Did Linny do something to the Oratrice? And somehow know that, uh, that child would be charged with the crime? I mean, that's one of the possibilities here. Hey. Apologies. This is also the first time I've encountered such a situation. However, according to the rules established at the conception of Fontaine's court system, the Oratrice's judgment is the final verdict of the court. Hmm. All I do is follow court procedure. As for why the Oratrice arrived at the conclusion it did, you should probably ask someone more knowledgeable than me. Even if the Chief Justice doesn't know, then we have no choice but to ask the Archon herself. Looking at me, I had nothing to do with it. Hmm. I, I don't know what happened there either. Hey, stop staring at me! What does Lady Farina mean by that? She says she has no idea either, but that's impossible. Didn't she create the Oratrice herself? Yeah. So are the verdicts reliable or not? Can results like this really be called justice? <sighs> My dearest citizens, did you really think we'd allow an incorrect verdict to be handed out in this court? 
Did you really believe that the judgment could be mistaken or be the result of some sort of random mishap? Hmm. Don't tell me. You thought even I had been blindsided by the Oratrice's result. But the way she looked just now, it was pretty obvious she had no idea what was going on. Yeah, and she even said as much. However, given the state of things, I shall give you an explanation. Everything that just took place, including my supposed shock and bafflement, was a part of an elaborate wow. performance, with every action meant to stir up drama and excitement. Okay. And, <laughs> of course, for every performance, there is a script. Everything has unfolded exactly as I expected from the very beginning. As the embodiment of the very concept of justice, the Oratrix shall never render an arbitrary judgment! Okay. I, I don't really like her very much anymore. I mean, she was always a little bit funny to me, but... Yeah, this is too going way too far. If you thought Child had nothing to do with the serial disappearances case, it is only because you've been blinded by the superficial appearance of innocence. Oh, yeah, he could still be involved in some way, but... I mean, I, I don't know. I... I I don't think he's directly involved with the disappearances, but he might be involved with some of the people that were involved with the di disappearances. Everything he's done, not to mention the danger he poses, are beyond ordinary comprehension and completely unforgivable! Hmm. All shall be revealed in time. You will come to understand my noble intentions, as well as the absolute correctness of the Oratrice's verdict. <laughs> now, having said that, although I hate to leave things hanging in suspense, it is now time for this performance to end. Wow. As the lead actress, I shall be the first to take my leave. Toodaloo! So she chose to make her escape after all, did she? <laughs> uh, so you're saying we shouldn't put much stock into what she just said? Hmm. She probably just put on that performance to save face. As for the truth, it's unlikely that she actually has any idea. Uh, way to pull the rug out from under her. However, please be assured that I will continue to investigate this case in a personal capacity. Just as I promised, if the judgment has been incorrect, we will do our utmost to clear his name. All right. Even though we feel pretty badly for him, we'll take your word for it for now. After all, he's done plenty of bad stuff. So he should have known he'd go to prison someday, right? <laughs> wow. I mean, maybe, but still, let's talk to him again. Oh, Monsieur Nervalet! That power you showed when you took him down. Who are you really? Hmm? I am the Chief Justice of Fontaine, of course. If officers of the law lack the strength and capability to enforce it, then it makes a mockery of justice. Hmm. Okay, so they want us to leave the Opera House. And I see a uh, thing up there that I want to get before I leave. So I'll try climbing up there very fast. And got it. Cool. Wouldn't gliding be faster? So now... I just need to exit. Will there be a cutscene down here? Yeah, there will be. Oh, there's Marcel or Vache. Hey, what are you doing? Quick, stop him! Traveler! Hey, Traveler! What, is he gonna ask us for help now? Ah, Marcel! What are you doing over here? Stop resisting arrest! Cease, or we'll add another charge to the list! No, 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 wait. I, I just want to ask the traveler something. I I'm not looking to run away. Please, please, just let me ask this one small thing. Go on. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. I was being led away when I finally realized something. Where did you first hear the name Vache? I erased all records of that name. So, unless... Are you still trying to prove your innocence? Give it up. You've already been convicted. Yes, I met her. 
I'm glad that he actually told them. Uh, really? You, you did? You're sure? You met her? But how could that be? How did you manage to do it? It was around the Fountain of Lucene. Something to do with my sensitivity to the Hydro element. The Fountain of Lucene? Then... Then she's been so close to me all along. And I just never... Okay, maybe telling him was a mistake. Please, please give me a chance to talk to her again. Just let the Traveler take me to the Fountain to see her one last time. This is the last request I'll ever make in my life. You can do whatever you want to me afterwards. I don't care. What? Give an inch and you want to take a mile? Do you think serial killers get to make requests like that? Fair point. Hmm. Paimon agrees. Why should we give him what he wants when he's only done a ton of super terrible things? This request, is it worth as much to you as your life? Of course! Wait, no. It's worth even more than my life. Humans. Will they betray the instinct oh. to live just to satisfy spiritual needs? Well, he just proved that he's not human. Very well. I will grant your request. Your Honor, I fear that... I will go with him. You do not need to worry about any escape. <sighs> in that case, I shall leave him in your most capable hands, Chief Justice. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Definitely a mistake to do this, but okay. Is this the place? You said she's here. But what do I need to do to see her? Back then, I drank water from the primordial sea. It heightened my sensitivity to the hydro element. Yeah, and even Paimon could hear her after drinking that thing. Didn't you just drink a lot of it on the stage as well? Oh, hmm. in that case... Vashe. Oh, we can hear it. <gasps> yes, hear her. It. So you heard it too! Vinier, it's me! It's me, Vashe. Vache? Vache? I'm here! I'm here! Where are you, Vinier? I'm coming for you! I'm finally here for you! Hey, wait! Be careful! Hey, wait! Vinier, is that you? It's me, Vache! Vinier! Vache? Why did you come? Didn't I say? You don't need to look for me. You. You look a lot older than I remember. How long has it been? It's been more than 20 years. I've suffered for over 20 years since the day you left. All this time, only the thought of bringing you back has kept me alive. Nothing else mattered to me. Oh, I must be dreaming. Who would have thought I'd get the chance to tell you all of my feelings like this? Vignere! You are my everything. I really don't know how I could live without you. But Vache, if you ask me, this world would be better off without you. Wow. What are you saying? If not for you, I would have finished my law degree and probably become a top-tier attorney one day. If not for you, I would have continued to pursue my love of the arts, and my works would have been displayed in the Palais Mermonia itself. Oh, I see what she's doing. She's trying to make him hate her. If not for you, I would at least have been able to take care of my mother. And she would not have grown old and died alone, with nothing but the tears on her cheeks. It's all because of your selfishness, Vashe. It's all because of you. You... Wait, you are not Vignere. Who are you? You're right. I am not Vignere. I am... The Sacrifices. Oh. Okay. Every woman who died by your hand, as our bodies dissolve, our consciousnesses flowed back to the Primordial Sea. Our thoughts circulated endlessly within the Primordial Sea. And we were no longer individuals. But we became one. Just as streams of water come together in the sea. I'm Cressy. I'm Lemony. I'm Azine. Wow. The only one I am not is Vignere. Why? 
But then, where is Vinier? She doesn't want to see you anymore. Every tendril of her consciousness is avoiding you. This is what you get for your selfishness. Your selfishness robbed us of our lives and our futures. You said time and time again that you'd do any and everything for her. But did you ever consider whether she'd want to see you do the things that you did? If she would despise you for what you became? I, um, I... Well, maybe this will be a good experience for him after all. You are a liar, a heartless murderer, and a cowardly narcissist. The only thing you are not is Vignier's beloved. From the moment your first victim died and her consciousness merged with Vignier's, she has had nothing but pure hatred for you. It looks like I didn't meet Vignier back, th uh, back then either. They must have wanted me to lure Marcel here from the very beginning. Huh. No! Vignier! She can't hate me. Let me see her. Please, have mercy. You still don't understand. When I said don't look for me, that came from the real Vignier. She really doesn't want to see you anymore. But on top of that, she also said that because it's her final drop of pity for you. She said that because she knew that if you did come here, we will show no mercy to you. Oh boy. Vache. 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 Oh, that's creepy. Drown. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's not really a good experience for him at all. Later, the guards find the that the culprit of the serial disappearances of the wo young woman case, Marcel, had something happen to him. I don't know. Several days later, I couldn't keep up with what it said. <laughs> I was a little bit shocked by uh, what just happened. Hmm. Finally, we have some time to do shopping. Gosh, it's really been a long time since we've been able to relax. Shopping is stressful in its own way, though. My legs are killing me. Huh. Well met, partner. I knew something great was going to happen when I woke up in such a good mood today. Even this weather can't put a damper on the demoiselle's mood. It's a pleasure to see you both again. Hmm. Oh, hey, Navia! It's been a few days. Paimon's already started to miss you. Oh, now that I believe. I'm easy to work with and always bring home the bacon. Who wouldn't treasure having a partner like me? <laughs> Sounds like you're really enjoying life these days, Navia. What have you been busy with since the trial? <sighs> it's just been one thing after the other. I've been making non-stop trips between Poisson and the courts in Sen. Everyone from Spina di Rosula organized a memorial for my father. We never held a memorial when he first died, since everyone knew that even if we held one back then, no one was going to come. Hmm. This time, though... Everyone in Poisson, and even many people from the court all attended. Cool. Ah, so his name's definitely been cleared now. That's what we like to hear. It's been the dearest wish of Demoiselle all along. <laughs> that blasted stubborn fool. I was right to put my faith in him. I'm so glad I didn't give up on the case all those years ago. Things turned out as well as they could have, yeah. Oh, by the way... I ran into Charlotte just after I left the memorial service. Hmm. Uh, well, maybe it'd be more accurate to say I knew she would be there. And there was no way she'd just let me go. Huh? So you know Charlotte too? The Charlotte? Journalist from the Steamboat? Oh, the one with the pink hair. Yeah, I was trying to place her name, you know, who she was. Yeah, way back when I first became the president of the Spina di Rosula, she was all over me. Wouldn't take no for an answer. I believe the story was called The True Heart of Darkness Secret Tales of the Yellow Rose. Huh. To be fair, though, it was a really flattering feature. <laughs> so we've 
been on pretty good terms ever since. <laughs> she was trying to lean on our friendship to get me to do an exclusive piece on the serial disappearances case. Oh, yeah. She told us about that. She's always been super interested in that case, so now her wishes finally come true, too. Anyway, I told her to make sure that when she writes about you guys entering the opera house with the critical evidence, that you both sound really cool. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now that's another thing to look forward to. We trust Charlotte's skills with a pen for sure. Oh, and in other news, I also took Clorand out for a meal. Oh, that's nice. Oh, are you two on better terms now? Mm. While you were investigating Vache's headquarters, Clorand gave testimony on my father's behalf. It was thanks to her that we were able to turn the tide. I wanted to thank her. I mean, <laughs> there's also no point in being awkward all the time. So we took the chance to reconcile with each other. Oh, that's great. Paimon also thought Clorand wasn't actually a bad person. It's always good to have more friends. Anyway, now that the case has finally been solved, Perhaps it will slowly begin to fade from the public consciousness. Hmm. Oh, actually, there's still one last thing I need to do. What is it? I should pay a visit to my father's grave and tell him the truth of what happened, as well as how it all ended. Makes sense. And on top of that, just how much people still look up to him to this day. That includes me, too. Miss Navia. Indeed. I'm sorry for ever suspecting you, Melus. Uh, anyways, can I come too? Mm -hmm. We want to go too! We also think Callus is a really admirable person. Sure thing. I'd like you two to share the moment with me. After all, without you, there might not have been such a positive ending. And in that case, everyone, let's be off. Considering the recent weather, we'll be lucky if we can reach Poisson before dark. Yeah, you're right. It's been raining non-stop for a few days now. Hmm. Huh. This is where my father's grave is. Hmm. To be perfectly honest, even I haven't been back here for... a long time. Huh? There's someone there already. Wait. That figure... It can't be... Hmm? Isn't that Durbelet? Why would the Chief Justice be here? Huh? Navia? Hmm. Hmm. My apologies. I should have asked before coming to pay my respects. So, it's been raining because he's sad. I, I'm pretty sure that they basically confirmed that he's the uh, Hydro Dragon. Don't say that. Sorry about that. Oh, uh, I was trying to say there's no need for you to apologize. I wanted to show my father how much I've grown, but still, I doubt I've grown to the point that even the Chief Justice would feel compelled to apologize to me over and over. In that case, I will stop apologizing for now. Hmm. You really could use some pointers on understanding human emotions, Monsieur Nervillette. In any case, why did you come to Poisson? Hmm. Well, ever since that day, I've been turning a question over and over in my head. Just what is justice, anyway? Hmm. There was once a time when I didn't want to believe that there could be anything more important to humans than life itself. Oh, rather than that, it's probably more truthful to say I didn't believe humans were capable of resisting the most basic instinct of living things. That they could rebel against their own nature, or consider certain things to be more important than their own lives. Which is also why I didn't stop your father from beginning that fateful duel. Hmm. I believed that a truly innocent man would never throw away his life like that. That there was nothing, should have been nothing more important than one's own continued survival. But Mr. Callus proved me utterly and decisively wrong. Well, that's a lesson learned, right? If not for his sacrifice. The serial disappearances case would have remained unsolved to this day. Mr. Callus made the choice he did for his daughter, for his associates, and for many people completely unrelated to him. And in the end, from a certain perspective, one could say that he did it all for the sake of justice. A justice that's higher than life itself. So, you asked me why I came here. I just wanted to say my apologies to Mr. Callus in person. Hmm. 
I should have noticed all of this much sooner. This regret has filled me with a sadness that has haunted me for days. Wow, that's basically confirming the whole rain thing. That high and mighty chair in the opera Epicles indeed insulates one from many important things. Spina di Rosula, thank you so much for your hard work and perseverance. Uh, I'm sorry for being mad at you before. So, you're actually one of those types that's cold on the outside, but pretty thoughtful on the inside, huh? Hmm. That reminds me of Silver, one of my guys. Sorry about that. Self-expression is not one of my strong suits. <sighs> Didn't I just say you don't need to apologize? Ah, so Navia and Nervalet seem to have made their peace as well. Yep. Let's not disturb them for now. We can wait till after they're done. Following Navia and Nuvalet, we also pay our respects to Callus. <sighs> Paimon's never paid respects at someone's grave before. Uh, did Paimon do anything rude there? Well, you're not usually supposed to fly around someone's grave for a while. Huh? Oh, Paimon didn't know that was a thing? But, but Paimon doesn't know what she would do if she can't fly! Oh no! Won't be too mad. Wow, she took it seriously. And Aether's just messing with her. Anyway, Nervalette is still standing around there. It's not often that we can catch him alone like this, so why don't we go talk to him for a bit? If we can't talk to Lady Farina, we can at least talk to him, right? Mm-hmm. Is this about the whole thing with the child? Uh, let's uh, talk to her, though. Really sorry, Navia, but Paimon did something pretty disrespectful just now. Uh, what are you saying, Paimon? I don't think I get it. Well, aren't you not supposed to fly around someone's grave? Huh? <laughs> Who told you that? Hey, traveler! Why did you mess with Paimon again? <laughs> Is it gonna repeat the uh, conversation? Uh, okay, whoops. Well, Okay, uh, so what I think I'm going to do is actually stop things here, because I don't know how many more cutscenes there are going to be. But before I stop, I do want to make some wishes, and I'll make them on his banner. So let's make as many as I can. Wow. Wow, I can't believe I keep getting copies of this guy. Okay, unfortunately there weren't any other characters. Let me see if I can get some more uh, things very fast in the shop because if I can I want to make some more wishes uh, so I can get one more of these and unfortunately I can't get any more so here's hoping that this final wish will give us a five star nope oh well anyway so yeah thank you very much for watching the next time I play I will continue the Archon Quest, and I think that's what I'll focus on primarily, uh, because, you know, there's still 15 days on this. So, uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye.